swing trading strategies that can make you a lot of money. So I'm going to share with you a, a simple concept here, but one that you can start applying right away. And here it is without any further ado. So day trading is great. I love day trading, but there's a limitation to it financially. And that is this. So I've got a whole days of whole day of activity here on this chart, five minute chart, no particular reason. Don't put too much emphasis on whether it's a five minute chart, two minute chart, 144 tick chart. I'm just using a five minute chart here so I can show you a whole day of data on one uh, in one fell swoop. OK, so basically the bottom line is it, when we're day trading, we have a limitation as to what well, we can only make the amount of money that is available to us in a given day based on that day's range. So down here, we'll use the real bodies. So 1181.25, I think you can see that over here. Um, let's say, okay, 780.50 and the top of the market that day was around um, 12,049.50. Okay, so that was the amount of um, price range. And that was the price range available to for us to make money that day. Now, nobody's going to be buying the low or shorting the actual high. So that means that the amount of money available during the, uh, for us during that day to make would be within that range, finding cycle lows to buy, finding cycle highs to short. All right. And finding some sort of trend, trend reversal, whatever. Okay, so that's not necessarily a horrible thing, but it is a limiting thing, meaning that it limits the amount of money we can make. So swing trading strategies allow us, frankly, to make more money because we can take advantage of gaps. So we are not limited to the range a market moves within a given day. Uh, we can make uh, the amount of money that it moves over multiple days and including gaps. And that's the focus of today. So here, as you can maybe see, let's pull this puppy up here. So from the close of that day uh, to the open of the next day, there's this gap. And so that means if we went short here, this is a first retrace on the trend. And if we went short and we didn't get out at the end of the day, but we held through the next day, that means that we've got this whole uh, area here where we can make this extra money. And why is that not coming up there for me? I don't know. But anyway, we can make the money from that high to that low, which if we day traded by definition, getting out at the end of the day, before the close of the day, we would be getting out here. If we held with a swing trade holding overnight, we're still not necessarily out, but we've made this money overnight and therefore we are able to potentially make more money, honey. And then it goes down and we make even more money. And so now instead of, let me take the crosshairs off of there so it's not too distracting, use my uh, handy dandy drawing tools again. So instead of us getting out, say, let's say we get out at the bottom of this bar, you might've even gotten out at the top of that bar, but anyway, we'll take best case scenario. Instead of our profit being from there to there, again, buying a first retrace in the trend down or shorting a first retrace in the trend down and only making that much money, now we could make that much money by making money on the gap overnight. So this is one of the advantages of swing trading strategies. We can make more money because we're not limited to the range of the market during the day, but that's not all. So that's a trend trading strategy. Uh, let's look at a trend reversal strategy because those can potentially make us even more money. All right, so now what we've got is we've had, again, here's a full day of activity and we've had a downtrend the whole day. So this actually is a pretty good day for day trading because it's a unidirectional day. Uh, we could have simply uh, waited for the new day. There's your gap, okay, which if we're doing simply day trading, we did not make the money on the gap. We wait for the first cycle high and then we make some, you know, pretty gall darn good money on this one. Not bad. All right. And so, yay, nice reward, good risk reward ratio. And so we can make that money, but now we get, if we're day traders exclusively, now we're out at the end of the day, we're done. Our 
um, financial reward is limited. What happens the next day? Well, here's what happens the next day. It's like, holy macro, Mandy. Market went way up there. We got a big gap up. Now, this is why I said previously that we can make even more money on trend reversal trades using these gaps. So the trend is done. We've gapped way up here. And look at all the money available here from that low all the way up there. All this sweet money, sweet, sweet, sweet gains. All of that by just holding overnight. I mean, wow, from what are these numbers? We'll approximate here. 11,350, uh, 10,850, that's megabucks. And now, how would we catch that though? That's the question of the day. That's the next pregunta. So there's two things. Um, number one is trend. So we talked about trend with both of them, but this time we're talking about a trend reversal. So the issue is timing in a trend, and this is where wave counts come in. So we've all heard the old slogan, the trend is your friend until the end, and that's a nice cutesy little slogan, but how do we apply it? So the meaning of it is that since the trend is your friend until the end, therefore you should not continue to trade in the direction of a trend toward the end of the trend. Or another way of saying it is, well, trends continue or uh, the best time to enter a trend is early in a new trend. The longer it continues, the less likely it is to continue, and therefore the lower the probability of the trade. So if we're going to trend trade in the direction of the trend, we want to get in early. Now, how do we determine early and late? That's the second question, and that's where wave counting comes in. So there's different waves of counting or different ways of counting wave. Elliott waves are obviously the most popular. Uh, they're good. I've traded them for several years. Uh, I've developed my own wave counting system that I prefer and it allows me to, well, it's a little more objective and rule-based. So we never change the, the wave counts. So anyway, the bottom line is this without that, that, that that's beyond the scope of this particular uh, video, but whatever wave counting, um, system you're going to use. Okay. Five waves is the average. All right, and an Elliott wave, that is every day force, and that's the one exception that I have to Elliott waves, why I don't use it anymore, is they impose this theory upon the market. So I don't do that. My wave counting is objective and rule-based. So we can get more than five waves. We get a, a failed seven. That's what that F7 means. That tells me that now, statistically, based on the mathematical algo that I use for wave counting, we're getting into a time when the markets will reverse, when we have a high probability of a trend reversal trade. This trend is toward the end, and therefore the trend is no longer our friend. Doesn't mean we can't trade. It means that the, the better opportunity now statistically is the counter trend trade. So if I take a counter trend trade, and I can put my protective stops in, right? If I'm not... Uh, in fact, I would actually recommend that. Say, okay, let's um, buy some calls, let's buy futures, whatever, put our protective stop in below the low of this swing low. By the way, these are cycles. Highly recommend you get my cycle indicator, which I give away for free. And the cycles coincide with the waves. So if you're wondering, well, Barry, how do you count these waves? You're not telling us that. Again, beyond the scope of a 10 minute video, but get my indicator that counts cycles, my market entry indicator indicatorwebinar.com. I'll show you how to set that up, how to trade it and everything there. That's a 45 minute recorded presentation. So we have more time on that. Okay. But so that's where we catch these and how we determine how far we are in the trend so that we can then take a very low risk, right? Risking very little money, high reward trade on that trend reversal. But we can only do it if we are what, holding the position overnight. Okay. And then up she goes and everything is glorious. And we, you know, uh, all buy our Lambos. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's it for today, my friends. Hope you got value out of this. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe to the channel, then you get notifications of future videos. Obviously they're all free and I don't want you to miss any of them because I've got some really great topics coming out here real soon.